Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In 2023, learn how to seamlessly connect GoDaddy domain to your WordPress website. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process, ensuring that your domain is correctly configured for your WordPress site. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing, which is obviously going and getting your first GoDaddy domain. Where to get the domain, simply just head up to godaddy.com, as you can see right in front of you. And then, this is the page where you're going to type whatever domain you want. So as an example, here I want, for example, Titan LTD. I'm going to tap enter, and then they will provide me with all the different amount of the website that I can get by Titan LTD as a name. So here, there is that online, that com, that sites, that club, that limited, I don't know, uh, online and XYZ. So the prices are actually 1.99, 4.99, so they really vary like that. Um, <clears throat> if your account was pretty much new and you didn't buy anything on it, you will get a deal like this. As you can see, 0.99. And you might even get it around 0 0.49, depending on your country exactly. So to get any kind of domain name on GoDaddy, simply just click on one of these. And for example, dot .online and click on make it mine or yours. And then as you can see, it will be added to the cart. And then click on continue. The next thing is simply make sure to remove no domain protection. So we don't really need that. In case you want it, you can simply have it. But for me, I don't really want it. Then this uh, start your website for free. I'm going to remove it since we are going to connect it with our WordPress website. So it is not really that necessary. And then for an email, if you really want a professional email or business email, that will be like something like your name at your domain name. Well, you can go for it as well. But for now, I will just keep it just like that. Next thing is continue to cart. And here is the most important thing. Sometimes they will, or not sometimes, most of the time, they will give it to you as a five years plan. So uh, this will be at five years. And you will notice that the price here will be like a huge amount of money. It was not what you were expecting. So simply just head up here and make it one year and it will be good to go. So here, as you can see, it went back to 0 0.99. So the next thing is simply what to do. So here it is 0 0.99. Next thing is simply I'm ready to pay. And then it will they will add like the taxes and etc. And then here we'll find your payments method and more like that, that like that. And this is it. Then all you have to do is go ahead and check your Gmail. And you will find an email from them themselves. So let me just search for it. Go daddy. So normally you'll find an email about the confirmation about the domain name that you have bought. So as you can see, here it is, Titan LTD has been bought, one domain, one year, and here it is the price. Now, after you bought it, simply just, you can go and either create your website or connect my site. So here, you can just connect my site through this. You can connect your site to any existing website that you have. So here, you can click and connect it to an existing, an existing site. Just like that, it's very easy. So, in this section, there's all of these different categories. There's social sites, websites, and online stores. Let's try, for this video specifically, we have to connect it to WordPress. So let's click on WordPress, and simply here, paste the WordPress blog URL. Now, let's go to WordPress, and let's connect to our account. So here we go, and this is my account on WordPress, so let's go to my sites, um, let's wait, <coughs> here we go, uh, let's just wait a little bit longer, and normally here we should find all the sites that we have, etc, here the details, the domains, and etc. So now, here we have all domains, so simply here just have to click, and click add the domain, and transfer domain if you'd like. So basically for GoDaddy or WordPress specifically, you can't really like own a website in WordPress and at the same time have the domain name on another platform. They doesn't 
don't, they don't allow you to do so. So what you have to do is to actually uh, like give it to WordPress. So you will have to transfer the domain name from GoDaddy to WordPress. Now for me here, I'm just going to go back and back. So like that. Let me just go over here. And here I'm going to my sites. And simply here, sometimes you'll find like everything about your sites from details, etc. Uh, here there is some problems with my account. Let me just log out and log in once more. Um, these problems were always with me since I've the beginning with WordPress. I don't know why exactly, but I'm going to try another account for now. Let's try it out and see if it's gonna work. So we can find WordPress. Yeah, this this is a pain. In, uh, this is so painful. So I did a quick account very very easily. So now let me just copy the link address and paste it over here. Next, confirm this is how you want your domain to connect. Note this may take a few minutes. When user goes to Titan CD store, they will be redirected to this website. Click on finish. Apply changes, please wait. And there you have it. So this is how it works. This is very easy guys. And now as you can see, the once a person actually tries to go to titanltd.store, they will be redirected exactly to the WordPress website that you have chosen. So let me just try it out. For now, as they said, it will not work instantly, but let's try what it's gonna give us once we open it. So there we go, let's wait. Yeah, at the first few minutes, they won't, it, won't work, it won't work, but it seems it works for now. Yeah, it did work. So yeah, it's very easy, guys. You don't really have to do anything crazy, anything uh, hypertonically like uh, insane. Simply just head up to your domains on GoDaddy and choose the website or the application that you want it to be connected with your GoDaddy domain. Very easy, very straightforward uh, tutorial, guys. It won't take any kind of knowledge from you. Simply click here, click here, then go there, and there you have it. So it's very easy. Now, the only problem that you will face is that it will redirect you, but it will not keep it as your URL. Well, at this point, you can't really change it. As I said at the beginning, to actually have a custom domain in WordPress, you have to transfer the domain from GoDaddy to WordPress. And that also will have you, will make you pay for a plan. Well, that can be any plan you have in mind specifically, any, any of their plans. But yeah, you can simply here, as you can see, choose a personal plan uh, that will give you a free domain for one year. And yeah, this is very, very straightforward. You don't really lose any time. But of course, you will have to pay an extra $4. So with that, you have $4 from WordPress, $1.17 on, um, on GoDaddy, which is comes in total $5.17. So yeah, guys, with that being said, that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial.